The new year is looming, which means come January, our TVs and smartphones are going to be full of adverts. Sandy white beaches, crystal clear pools, and travel companies claiming to give us the best deals on our summer holidays. But the biggest question that you need to answer is where do you go? Today, we're going to be taking you through 2024's hottest travel destinations, some close to home and some further afield. We're going to be showing you some popular favorites and some hidden gems that may have slipped under your radar. Party season is upon us. And that means it's time to plan your outfits, think about how to style your hair, and of course, plan your Christmas party makeup looks. We love a classic festive red lip and sparkly eye here. But today, we're going to show you some new ways to use some of your beauty favourites for makeup looks that wow, both at Christmas and all year round. I know it's winter, I know it's getting cold, but if you're anything like me, you're already thinking about next summer and more specifically, festival season. Nowadays, there are so many different music festivals to choose from. And although I'm sure we'd love to go to them all, we need to find a way to narrow down that list. Today, we're going to be doing all the hard work and research for you, summing up the pros and cons of all the top festivals. So come next summer, the only thing you need to worry about is packing your wellies. Award season is officially upon us. And ahead of tomorrow night's Brit Awards, we're going to be dipping into the archives to take a look at some of the best and worst red carpet looks over the years. We'll be talking Harry Styles, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and more. Plus, making some predictions on what looks we're expecting to see on the carpet tomorrow night. Property prices in the capital are soaring, but how much of a difference can heading outside of the M25 and commuting into the city make? Today, we're going to be looking at four properties, each one listed at the exact same price, each one slightly further outside of zone one, to really put to the test how much of a difference distance from the capital makes to what you can get for your money. Can you really get the same quality from drugstore products as you can from more premium beauty brands? Today, we're exploring that issue. And with the rise of dupes we're seeing online at the moment, we're going to be comparing coverage, pigmentation, staying power and more across some top drugstore and premium beauty brands so that you don't have to. And hopefully we're going to save you some money along the way as well. Coming up on today's show, we're diving into all things reality TV with updates from both Down Under and the Strictly Dance Floor as we bring you all the behind the scenes gossip from I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here and Strictly Come Dancing. You've seen this destination all over social media. I'm sure you already know somebody who's been. Today, we're talking about intoxicating Thailand. There's so much to see and so much to do. It's an assault on the senses. Plus, the food can be pretty amazing too. But planning that holiday of a lifetime can feel a little daunting. So stay tuned for all our top tips on those must-see spots. I grew up in the countryside in Derbyshire, but I've lived in London for the last four years. I love London, but I really miss being outside in nature, wellies on and fresh air. So today I'm on a mission to find the best spots within an hour of London to get that great outdoors fix. And I'm bringing you along for the ride. And that's all for this week. Thanks so much for watching. From me, Beth, it's goodbye for now.